I'm, I'm attacking this arm immediately, okay? By chopping it, holding it, not letting him get underneath my elbow like that, okay? So I'm very conscious of this move right to here. If I'm holding this one, I'm kind of just kind of keeping my head tucked, okay? Because he's going to try and pull my head up because he wants that choke. So I'm going to just grab his shoulder or his collar, and I'm just going to start pulling it down, and I'm going to clamp his heel, knee to my elbow. See? Clamp, clamp, clamp. And as I'm tight here, you'll kind of see this elbow right here. Kind of, I'll pull this down and it'll kind of get right to his hip. And I'm right in position. Okay, bridge and roll. Let's do it again. Now, a couple things that have to happen. You might have to double tap this bridge and roll because if his knee is up, I need his knee to hit the floor then when it hits the floor, then I spring forward again. So I'll need the thrusters, okay? So I'm here, I'm immediately kind of attacking. Boom. And as I pull this guy down, you'll see this, my elbow ratchet back, bang, okay? Now, I'm gonna post right to here, knee him in the butt. That's the first knee. See how his knee hit the floor? Then I gotta push through and keep, I'm using my elbow on his hip, feel it? Mm -hmm. Block the biceps, and I'm right back in position. Make sure you get that elbow back to the hip because if it stays on his center line and I try to go, he could crush my arm across my body. Okay, and I don't want to do that. So as I pull him down, I pull that one through. It's like a karate move. See, what, why, why, why does he need his post with his arm? Like this right in neck? Why does he take it off? He could. Okay. Let's do it. Here, I'm here like this. Um, when I pull this down, boom, I get into here. I'm gonna try to bump him, post. Okay. Because of my elbow on his hip, I push through. Good. So yes, the, uh, the post is variable. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, not saying, <clears throat> I'm sure it's there. Because you remember, when you learn a move, you can't just learn one move. You have to learn a pair of moves. Does that make sense? A pair of moves. So I get into here like this, boom. I start to get to here like this, and then he might post. Well, could I still ratchet back and get my leg in? Yes. That's why you learn pairs of moves. Does that make sense? And each move has variations. You learn all the variations of the moves, and then you start pairing them together. When you're a white belt, you learn each move individually. When you're a blue belt, your job is to take those individual moves and make pairs. You got peanut butter and jelly, and you got apples and peanut butter, you start to pair moves together because when one fails, the next move is you're out. And it's like old school Nintendo, A's and B's, baby. Purple belt, you upgraded to Sega Genesis because you got A, B, and C. See what I'm saying? Brown belt, Super Nintendo. You got buttons here, button here, button here on the top, on the bottom. Okay, and that's how the ideas are working. You start to pair more moves. So that's what you want. All right, let's do it. One, two, three.